today I have a fragrance kind of a dupe video and I was super excited because one of these or both of these items that duping the main attraction if you will were found one was for $19.99 at Shoppers Drug Mart and the other one I found on sale for $39 at winners here in Canada. Before we get started, I'm gonna tell you what's on my nails and what's on my lips. On my lips, I have two items as per usual. I have Twig, which is from MAC in the satin formula. And this is the color here. I just wanted to pop a little darkness on my lips because it may be July 1st that I'm filming this, by the way, but it sure doesn't feel like it. It feels cloudy and gross outside, <laughs> which is right behind you guys. And on top, I have from Buxom, a full on lip cream in the color Sugar Drop. So that is what's on my lips. And what's on my nails is one of my favorite colors that I wore for the month of June on and off. This is a Sally Hansen Hardest Nails Extreme Wear in the number 329 Sunkissed. This is a beautiful color and I really love it. It's not a neon orange, but it's darn close really really have enjoyed this on my fingernails and it's lasted really well okay so i am so excited to share with you some really cool finds so that if you cannot afford or you're looking for a cheaper version so you can wear it a little more often of the beautiful the very popular le vie belle from lancome so this is what i wore on my wedding day cliche maybe i don't care i felt i was very special i wanted something that would last long i it, to say on august 11th how cold and foggy it was on the rocks of peggy's cove is an understatement we were all shivering <laughs> at our reception um but i this basically went through the entire night we had a sunset wedding and I love this. I love its sweetness. I love its strength. The projection, the longevity is absolutely amazing. And you guys know me, I love my sweet scents. With me and the love of the scent, I really love the pralines in this. It really gives a nice little sweetness to it. And again, I'm apparently not sweet enough as it is, so I need as much sweetening as I can get. But what I'm trying to say to you guys is I, when I was out shopping with my friend Kara, if the video is up, I will link it above. We went to a whole bunch of shoppers, drug marts and winners here in the Halifax area as well as Dartmouth. And we were looking for perfumes and all sorts of fun things. Well, I found two items that one is a 95% dupe and the other one is about a 90. But I'm really excited to share those with you guys because this is fairly expensive. Like this little 30 mil is about $100 Canadian. So if it's not something you want to over spray, like you don't want to spray too much or it's out of your price range, I'm going to show you guys a couple items that are just fantastic. So the item I'm going to show you first is the one I picked up for $39 at Winners and it's a Nina Ricci fragrance, my very first one, and it's in the scent Luna. Now, out of the two I'm going to show you, this is the one that's 90% close to, to the original Olivier Bell. This one, if I'm going to have all of the scent notes above for you guys so you guys can take a look, it's darn close. Now, I say 90% because I feel like this one's a little fruitier than Olivier Bell, where I feel Olivier Bell is a little bit sexier, a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. This one is not as much that way. So, so good. Wow. So again, I found this at the discount store. I love the bottle. And when I saw all the notes that had praline, it had, I believe it had like chuli or it just, it had sweet, it had gourmand, it had a little fruity notes to it. I think there's some apple in here. It, it's really, really lovely. It's a 90% dupe to Le Vie Belle. Um, I believe even it says on Fragrantica on the bottom when you actually scroll down and it says, this smells like similar to something something. It is similar to La Vie Belle, so hot, yeah. This doesn't last as long, I will say. This is an eau de toilette where the other two, the original La Vie Belle and the next one I'm gonna show you are an eau de parfum. But um, this is very nice. Again, you can overspray. It's quite cute. I don't know if I would wanna put that in my purse. It's a little dainty to put in your bag. And I appreciate the fact that it's a very inexpensive version of a very, fairly pricey perfume. Okay, so the next one I got, we found it at the Shoppers Drug Mart and it was like in the back and we like, you know, Kara and I were like looking around and we saw something that was new to us. So we pulled it out and I bought it, it was sealed. And we brought it into the car and then we sprayed it. We're like, Le Vie Belle, total Le Vie Belle. This is the one that is about 95% of the true Le Vie Belle from Lancome. And this one is a new to me house. This is Catherine Malandrino. And this bottle is absolutely beautiful. And let me see here. 
Yeah, you guys. Very, very pretty. It has a CM on the cap. Um, this one is an eau de parfum. And you guys, it is a one, well, this is a 95% dupe of the original Le Vie Belle. Oh my goodness. So with that being said, I'm gonna spray Le Vie Belle as well. So this is Le Vie Belle and this is the Catherine Melandrino, the original one. A little bit lighter. This is, I get more sweetness from the original Olivier Bell. It's gorgeous. I love this one. It's it's very warm and cozy. But this one, on the other hand, Catherine Melandrino, the one I got for $19.99, you guys. I'd say where the original one definitely for me, obviously I got married in the summer, I just told you guys that. But where I would say this would work best, the original one from Lancome would work best for fall winter. This one actually could be great for spring and the summer nights. I feel like the sweetie, there's more sweetness in this one here from Catherine Melandrino versus this one here. There's a little more musk or something else, a little heavier patchouli or what have you in this one that I would say in more of the cooler months and or really cold nights. In, but this one would be good for spring and also the cold nights in summer. Yeah. Mm. This one though, I did wear both of them on my wrists when I first received the Catherine Melandrino. I brought them home. I was like, wow, I got to try this out. So I did spray each of my wrists with one or the other. And I will say La Vie Belle wins for projection, longevity. It's not a skin scent. It's definitely out there for all to smell. This one, however, the Catherine Melandrino, it is good. It's good. But I would say that I probably only got about five to six hours on it. And it definitely, after about the two and a half hour mark, went down in projection. This one stayed long, strong, and... You know, the original Olivier Bell is very, very strong and highly recommend this. So if you can afford this one, great. If you can't afford it, this is a really great option. So that's these three items here. And I really encourage, if you guys know, if you're in Canada, of course, I always stress going to the Shoppers Drug Mart, the end caps, $19.99. Check out your winners, check out your Marshalls. If you're in the US, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, all of that. So stuff. if they carry fragrance, definitely take a look, especially if you're like a frag head like myself, who really just wants to find like, the next dupe or like unfavorite scent. And if you can get it at a decent price, why not? So you guys, again, my very favorite still is La Vie Belle for lots of reasons when it's sentimental, but also the projection longevity is amazing. The sillage on this is insane. People will know you were in a room. The one that's 95% close to that is here from Catherine Melandrino. And this is beautiful. It's just got a little bit more sweetness to it, I feel, on my skin versus the Olivier Belle, which has a little bit more musky sexiness involved in that one. So that's number two. And the third place goes to, this is the Eau de Toilette from Nina Ricci in Luna. And it's, first of all, I just love the bottle. And I love the fact that I will can spray this as much as I want. All right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really do appreciate it. Let me know down below, have you tried any of these? Or are you looking at trying to find any of these ones, um, especially these discounted ones? As always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.